Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hello, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and in today's video, I want to do a follow-up on a recent video I did about talking about uh, support for projectors and DCI equipment going forward and how uh, it's not really something you can do yourself as an uh, independent cinema owner who has been used to be who's been used to doing that over the last many years for film. In this situation, I'm, I'm actually four hours outside of Melbourne, so it's a decent, it's an overnight stay for me to do this job. Uh, and the, this is an old Series 1 projector. It's been in the field for about um, four years. And uh, it's the cinema board went, which is the keyboard which um, does the decoding of, of the uh, information. Now, this is a secure board. It's, it's in a secure casing, etc. I'll, I'll show that later in the video. But uh, I'll just go over some of the aspects that needed to be done to replace this board. And to show you that, you know, a decent amount of training is required and um, it's not really something that you can do yourself so you really need to get in with a support agency that a support organization you trust and that can deal with these uh, complex issues and as you as you as you also know that only really registered support agents have the knowledge because there's quite a bit of knowledge that isn't, isn't really shared it's only shared to trusted agencies or agent, agents or support service centres. So we'll just go through that. Uh, I'm trained in, in the NEC and the Christie and I'm actually going to be doing Barco very soon. So um, yes, anyway, let's have a quick look at what needs to be done uh, just to do this simple cinema board replacement. Here I am looking through the top of the projector at the security cage. This is where the cinema board I've just installed is placed. As you can see, it requires a security key to access and there are also many tamper switches all over the projector so that if someone is opening the projector, it is all recorded and monitored back to uh, the monitoring station uh, if it's monitored by anyone or in the logs so anyone can look at it at a later date to see that the system has been tampered with or opened. Now I'm replacing the cinema board or the, or the main processing board in the projector here today and I just want to show it to you. This is the main security side of the projector and you'll actually see this is the faulty unit here. Let's show it up close and you can basically see, you can see how it plugs into the, into the, the cage on the, along the bottom. And you can basically see that the board is completely encased in what they call a gore uh, covering. Now, this covering basically is a, an electronic fence that goes around the, the whole board. Now, in here, there's actually a battery and there's a computer that's running all the time, you know. And there's actually a, a little wire here that it, th when this is stored in our service center, if it is stored for a certain amount of time you actually have to plug in a battery to keep keep the board charged because if the battery fails on the board the security the security side of the board will basically wipe itself so it becomes a useless Just, you know that's to keep it secure so there's a security information in here and that needs to be secure and it's completely monitoring itself all the time if anyone tries to uh, get into any of the information on this board, the board just basically uh, disables itself. And, and the very big thing about why uh, you need to be trained, you need to know all these spe very special security uh, parts of the, the process. And also there's a number of, I'll just put it down because it's heavy. There's a number of, you know, because of the security, there's, there's information that are only, you know, there's only certain shared to trusted service engineers. So you really need to, like again, I say it again and again, you want a trusted, service engineer company that you can trust and, and you believe will do a good job and, and uh, to come and do your support. So yes, so that's the security board. All, all the projectors, the Series 2 actually have even more security, which maybe I'll do in another video one day, but uh, it's some of the key aspects of going DCI and keeping our content secure because as you know, piracy is a very big problem in this industry and, and uh, we're doing everything or Hollywood's doing everything to make sure that that doesn't affect us and uh, threaten this industry. Now I've installed the board, I actually have to upgrade all the software and make sure it's all in sync so it all works together. There's quite a lot of subsystems etc so usually you go through and upgrade everything to make sure it's the right 
version. Here I've just finished upgrading the TI side of the system, but there's many other aspects, and usually as you'll see there's other documents I have in the background because I love to, to, well I usually always check all my documents to make sure I've got everything right on the way, because if you get anything wrong of course you could end up with some problems in the field later on after you've left the left the uh, location, and, and as this place is four, year, four hours drive from uh, Melbourne, it's you want to really want to make sure you don't make any mistakes when upgrading the projector. Now I've shown you quickly how I, I was using a computer to load all the software. So this really gives you an understanding. You need to know you will be very computer literate. You can be a bit of a computer person, be an IT person. You need to know your networks. I'm doing a lot of network stuff here, plugging the need to know to configure the networks and everything correctly, especially if I'm doing any VPN or remote networking capabilities to monitor your systems. There's a lot of training involved here. There's, uh, like I showed you the software, that's for, there's, you know, having to know all the understanding of what to upgrade, when to upgrade it, uh, lots of manuals, etc. And that's just for NEC. We've got Christy and Barker as well. If I'm going to service just, you know, general cinemas, I have to have training in all that as well, and that's a lot of cost. As a cinema owner, that's a cost you don't really need. You know, these project, this is the fourth, four years before, and this has failed. You're not going to go and get thousands, you know, tens to twenty, to thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars worth of training just so you may need to support your projector. And the pro manufacturers aren't going to go out and train thousands of cinema owners. They will train a, a certified location in your region, uh, and you will need to use those those certified agents to do your support. So that's the new model. We need to understand it and why it's there and why you have to do it that way, and why there's a lot, the security aspect and there's lots of things to understand here. Again, keep informed, know what, what's happening in your projection booth. Anyway, that's James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and I hope you enjoy my videos, and I'm hoping you, the information is, is helping out with you running your, your cinemas in the future. Bye for now.